Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is the fifth video of this series and fourth step of accounting cycle. In this video, we will talk about the fourth step of accounting cycle that is trial balance or unadjusted trial balance. You can see in the right side of this sheet that is in this image here. Okay, we have already completed three step of the cycle. That is the, these are now today we have come to the fourth step, right? So before I go to prepare the trial balance, I want to tell you some basic information of this st step that that is trial balance as some basic questions. So let's see. All right. So these are some of the basic questions related to it. So let me tell you the answer of these questions quickly one by one. Okay. So we have the first one. What is trial balance? So according to C. L. Chaturvedi and L. N. Agrawal, a trial balance is a statement of debit and credit totals or balances extracted from the ledger with a view to test the arithmetic accuracy of the books. Okay. Now we have the second one is what are the objective of the trial balance so there are some objectives like to check arithmetic accuracy to, to help in locating errors to periodic summary of ledgers to help in preparing preparation of final accounts okay now we have the third one is how many types of trial balance so basically there are two types of trial balance in nature as the first one is on adjusted trial balance and the second one is adjusted trial balance here we will prepare on adjusted trial balance because we will not consider year in adjustment right now okay we will prepare adjusted trial balance in the next video of this series where we will consider year end adjustment okay now we have the last one or fourth one is what are the method of trial balance so basically trial balance can be prepared by two method as total method and balance method under the total method the totals of debits and credit of each ledger accounts are incorporated in trial balance generally this method is not so used in practice Similarly, on the balance method, only laser balances are incorporated in trial balance. This method is so used in practice so that we will use this method in this video. Okay, so guys, we are done. Now, let's move on to the our list of accounts or laser accounts sheet that, that is in suite laser. Okay, so click here. All right. We have 19 ledgers accounts. Now let let's modify this table or this sheet by inserting the three rows at the top of this sheet that is here and adding the two column that of debit and credit that is here and here. Okay, so so first click here and go to the cells section of home tab and click on insert. And click on insert seat rows okay similarly click on here and click on here all right now click here and write the name of the company so we have the name of company is Excel World Trading limited all right and here and write the name trial balance trial balance and here so write the date here as on 31st december december 2017 all right now click here and go to the 
font section of the home tab and choose Arial narrow okay and click here and select from here to here and click on merge and center and press ctrl b to bold it okay now let's make this sentence a little bit bigger okay click here and merge it and now press the ctrl b to bold it okay similarly click here and select from here to here and click on merge and center and now press the ctrl b to bold it okay now click here and now let's make this sentence a little bit bigger all right now click here and select from here to here and go to the font section of the home tab and click on border arrow and choose top and thick bottom border all right and right here david aries david aries or david amount okay now press the tab now here write the name credit rds now press the enter key okay now select these two cells and now press ctrl b to bold it okay and now let's make this column a little bit bigger okay similarly this one all right now click here and click on center and guys here our ledger folio number has mistaken due to the reason of inserting the cell. Okay, so let's uh, add it here. So click on the formula bar. Okay, and uh, write the value 1 is to 1. Now press the enter key. Okay, and now click here and drag from here to here. Alright, okay, because we have 19 laser. Okay, and now Click here and drag from here to here and go to the font section of the home tab and click on this one. All right. Okay. Now let's find this uh, ledger balancing amount. Okay. So we have a uh, two techniques to get the balancing amount of these ledgers. Okay. The first one is that we can directly or manually copy the balancing amount or available balance of these ledgers from their ledgers accounts that is from here from here okay for cash account now from here for capital account from here for purchase account and so on okay so that was the first technique okay and the other technique is by creating a formula by using the sum if function from journal entry sheet okay that is in sheet 4 so here i am going to use the formula to get the exact amount and accurate data quickly so for david arias press the equal to sign write the if function double click on this function write the sum if function double click on this function and let's follow this argument okay so for range go to the seat 4 and select from here to here press the control shift down arrow okay and now press f4 to absolute reference now comma criteria will be our cash account comma for some range click here and click here and now press the control shift and down arrow all right now press the f4 key to the to absolute reference and now press the close parenthesis now press the less than sign okay and write the sum if function okay double click on this function now let's follow this argument okay so our range will be from here to here now press the fo key to absolute reference comma our criteria will be this one comma for some range click here 
and click here and now press the control shift down arrow all right now press the f4 key to absolute reference okay now press the close parenthesis okay that means our total credit amount of the particular laser is will be less than total dr amount of the particular laser then what will happen total dr amount of the particular laser minus total cr amount of the particular laser to get the exact balancing amount of the particular laser okay so now let's press the comma and now what will happen if the statement will be matched then what will happen so right here write the submit function and uh, click here and our range will be from here to here and now press the F4 key to absolute reference comma our criteria will be same that is this one comma and now our sum range will be will be from here to here now press the F4 key to absolute reference now press the close parenthesis minus write the sum if function and click here and select from here to here and press the control shift down arrow now press the F4 key to absolute reference and our criteria will be same that is this one comma for some range click here and press ctrl shift and down arrow okay now press the f4 key to absolute reference now press the close parenthesis okay now press comma otherwise what will happen zero now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to here all right now go to the number section of the home tab and choose comma step all right okay now to get the total of david areas press con press alt plus equal to button from your keyboard all right now press the enter key all right now click here and now press ctrl b to bold it okay i'm done now for credit column the formula will be just opposite to the debit rs column okay for credit areas press the equal to sign write the if function write the sum if function now let's follow this argument for range so click here and click here and select from here to here now press ctrl shift down arrow to select uh, this uh, area now press the F4 key to absolute reference now press the comma and our criteria will be this one comma for some range click here and click here now press ctrl shift down arrow now press the F4 key to absolute reference now press the close parenthesis press the greater sign write the sum if function click here and drag from here to here now press the ctrl shift down arrow now press the f4 key to absolute reference comma our criteria will be same so click here comma for some range click here and now click here now press ctrl shift down arrow now press the f4 key to absolute reference now press the close parenthesis that uh, i have uh, made this statement and this statement is saying that if our total credit amount of the particular laser is greater than total dr amount of the particular laser then what will happen so press the comma and write the sum if function and click here and select from here to here press ctrl shift down arrow now press the f4 key to absolute reference comma for criteria will be same so click here 
comma for some days click here now press ctrl shift down arrow now press the apple key to absolute reference press the close parenthesis minus write the sum e function now for range so click here and select from here to here now press ctrl shift down arrow now press the apple key to absolute reference comma for list for criteria so click here and click here comma for some days click here and click here now press ctrl shift down arrow now press the apple key to absolute reference now press the close parenthesis this statement says that if our statement will be matched then the value value will be this one okay now otherwise zero now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to here and go to the number section of the home tab and choose comma star all right now click here and now press the alt plus equal to button from your keyboard to get the total credit amount okay now press the enter key all right now click here and press ctrl b to bold it okay all right and right click here and write the name as total all right and click here now press the ctrl b to bold it all right okay now guys we can see our balancing amount of cash is uh, 5 lakh 13500 okay here so now let's check our laser so go to the seat 6 here and you can see here our cash account available balance is 5 lakh 13500 okay that means our calculation is absolutely right similarly our capital is 10 lakh rupees credit side in the credit side of trade balance so for here to check this one so go to the seat 7 and you can see here capital uh, account has 10 lakh rupees as available balance or balancing amount or closing balance and this amount is showing credit side of laser account okay that means our calculation is absolutely right now come back here and now we can see our total debit areas and credit areas are also equal that means our trial balance is also correct okay so guys we are done everything related to it it is very easy to prepare it now we have to make the adjustment entries so we will prepare in the next video tutorial or next part of this series that's all for now thanks for watching if you like it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you very soon take care and bye bye